Hello, my name is Danae Narvaza, and I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist here at Pelvic Health and Rehabilitation Center in Encinitas. Today, we'll be doing a core exercise routine. This one is recommended for individuals who have already established good return to baseline following core activation and or pelvic floor activation. So make sure to ask your pelvic floor therapist if this is a good routine for you. I'm going to cover the basis of some foundational movements. I'm going to refer to bracing your core throughout the video. So with that, I want you to think about activating the transverse abdominis muscle. So with that, you're exhaling with exertion, bringing the navel to the spine and having your ribs close three dimensionally downward on your rests. Feel free to expand the rib cage and allow yourself to drop and release pelvic floor as needed. If at any point you are feeling tired or if you need to take a break, you can pause the video or just go at your own pace. What I'm going to have you do is start by having your feet at the edge of the mat. You're going to keep a neutral spine. Keep the core braced, relax the shoulders down, keep a neutral neck, and slowly lower yourself vertebrae by vertebrae to the floor. Find your neutral spine, and we're gonna do a warm up where we're just going to exhale, bringing the navel to spine. Inhale, rest. Exhale, brace, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three. Exhale, brace. Two, three, four. One more time. Inhale, expand. Exhale, brace. Okay, now that we're nice and primed with our core activation, we're going to go into a march. Keeping the brace core, or keeping the core braced, we are going to exhale. Slowly lift up the leg into a 90 degree, still keeping the core braced, lowering it. At the rest point, inhale, exhale, brace, bringing the other one up. We're going to repeat that. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Up for two, down for two, up for two, down for two. Up for two, make sure that is braced. And you could check by feeling lower abdomen, if it's nice and tucked, if the rib is closed down, you don't want it flared, you don't want your low back to be arched either. Nice and neutral spine is what we are going for. Now we're gonna upgrade. If the next one is too hard for you, just maintain the march. So I'm gonna have you put your feet in a 90-90 position. So 90 degrees at the hip, 90 degrees at the knees. You could put your hands to the side or if you feel like you need the tailbone support, you could have hands underneath here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to drop instead of lifting up, okay? So we're exhaling and bracing still bracing up exhale bracing and still bracing up if that is too hard for you what you can do is break that down so exhale bracing the core here inhale rest exhale bracing the core on the way up so do whatever works for you um, and we'll go ahead and begin this next set in five six seven eight one two three four one two three, four, going down for two, up for two, down for two, and up for two, down for two, up for two, keep going, good job. Now we're gonna take it other, up another notch. So instead of keeping the knees at 90 degrees, we're gonna straighten, almost like a bicycle. So that's going to look like leg straight, back up, leg straight, back up. 
just like that. If you feel like this range of motion is too much for you, then maybe instead of parallel from the ground, you just go up to here at 45 degrees. Exhaling with exertion, making sure navel is towards the spine and back is neutral. All right, so while we're finishing up this one, I'm gonna describe the next exercise. So this one I like, uh, it's called the dead bug. So now we're gonna incorporate upper extremity arm movement. So you're gonna have zombie arms here. And when the opposite hand goes down, the opposite leg is going to go down as well. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So we are like a dead bug, or I guess not a dead bug, but an almost dead bug got stuck on its back, like so. <sighs> Exhaling with exertions. So exhale, bracing on the way down and back up. Inhale, rest. Exhaling, bracing on the way down, up. Inhale, rest. So brace, brace, brace and rest. Brace, brace, brace. Brace and rest. You might even feel like an earthquake-like shaking in your core, and that's good. We want to challenge ourselves. And remember, take breaks at any point if you need to. And then again, just a friendly reminder, checking to see if your spine is neutral, if you are keeping that core braced. And if you are breathing, make sure you breathe. All right, go ahead and hug your knees. Go side to side. Go into a happy baby. We're going to inhale. Expanding the ribs. Dropping pelvic floor, exhale. Three more times, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, dropping the pelvic floor. Exhale. Go ahead and hug your knees. Straighten your legs out. Brace the core. On the exhale, you're gonna bring yourself up. And you are all done with your core exercise. Thanks for joining me.